Climate models use quantitative methods to simulate the interactions of the important drivers of climate, including atmosphere, oceans, land surface and ice. They are used for a variety of purposes from study of the dynamics of the climate system to projections of future climate. All climate models take account of incoming energy from the Sun as shortwave electromagnetic radiation, chiefly visible and shortwave infrared, as well as outgoing longwave infrared electromagnetic. Any imbalance results in a change in temperature. Models vary in complexity. A simple radiant heat transfer model treats the Earth as a single point and averages outgoing energy. This can be expanded vertically radiative convective models and or horizontally. Finally, coupled atmosphere ocean sea ice global climate models solve the full equations for mass and energy transfer and radiant exchange. Box models can treat flows across and within ocean basins. Other types of modeling can be interlinked, such as land use, allowing researchers to predict the interaction between climate and ecosystems. Topic: <laughs> Box models. Box models are simplified versions of complex systems, reducing them to boxes or reservoirs linked by fluxes. The boxes are assumed to be mixed homogeneously. Within a given box, the concentration of any chemical species is therefore uniform. However, the abundance of a species within a given box may vary as a function of time due to the input to or loss from the box or due to the production, consumption or decay of this species within the box. Simple box models, i.e. box model with a small number of boxes whose properties e.g. their volume do not change with time, are often useful to derive analytical formulas describing the dynamics and steady state abundance of a species. More complex box models are usually solved using numerical techniques. Box models are used extensively to model environmental systems or ecosystems and in studies of ocean circulation and the carbon cycle. They are instances of a multi-compartment model. Topic: <inaudible> Zero-dimensional models. A very simple model of the radiative equilibrium of the Earth is 1 minus a s pi r 2 equals 4 pi r 2 e sigma t 4 display style 1a s pi r caret 2 equals 4 pi r caret 2 epsilon sigma t caret 4 where the left hand side represents the incoming energy from the sun the right hand side represents the outgoing energy from the Earth, calculated from the Stefan Boltzmann law assuming a model fictive temperature, T, sometimes called the equilibrium temperature of the Earth, that is to be found, and S is the solar constant, the incoming solar radiation per unit area. About 1367 Wm2. A, a is the Earth's average albedo, measured to be 0.3. R is Earth's radius approximately 6.371 times 106 meters pi is the mathematical constant 3.141 sigma display style sigma is the stefan boltzmann constant approximately 5.67 times 10 minus 8 jk minus 4 m minus 2 s minus 1 e display style epsilon is the effective emissivity of earth about 0 612 the constant pi r2 can be factored out giving 1 minus a s equals 4 e sigma t 4 display style 1 a s equals 4 epsilon sigma t caret 4 solving for the temperature t equals 1 minus a s 4 e sigma 4 display style t equals sqrt 4 frac 1 a s 4 epsilon sigma this yields an apparent effective average earth temperature of 288 k 15 degrees celsius 59 degrees fahrenheit 
This is because the above equation represents the effective radiative temperature of the Earth including the clouds and atmosphere. This very simple model is quite instructive. For example, it easily determines the effect on average Earth temperature of changes in solar constant or change of albedo or effective Earth emissivity. The average emissivity of the Earth is readily estimated from available data. The emissivities of terrestrial surfaces are all in the range of 0.96 to 0.99 except for some small desert areas which may be as low as 0.7. Clouds, however, which cover about half of the Earth's surface, have an average emissivity of about 0.5 which must be reduced by the fourth power of the ratio of cloud absolute temperature to average Earth absolute temperature, and an average cloud temperature of about 258 K Taking all this properly into account results in an effective Earth emissivity of about 0.64 Earth average temperature 285 K 12 degrees Celsius, 53 degrees Fahrenheit. This simple model readily determines the effect of changes in solar output or change of Earth albedo or effective Earth emissivity on average Earth temperature. It says nothing, however about what might cause these things to change. Zero-dimensional models do not address the temperature distribution on the Earth or the factors that move energy about the Earth. <inaudible> Radiative convective models The zero-dimensional model above, using the solar constant and given average Earth temperature, determines the effective Earth emissivity of long-wave radiation emitted to space. This can be refined in the vertical to a one-dimensional radiative convective model, which considers two processes of energy transport upwelling and downwelling radiative transfer through atmospheric layers that both absorb and emit infrared radiation upward transport of heat by convection especially important in the lower troposphere. The radiative convective models have advantages over the simple model, they can determine the effects of varying greenhouse gas concentrations on effective emissivity and therefore the surface temperature but added parameters are needed to determine local emissivity and albedo and address the factors that move energy about the Earth. Effect of ice albedo feedback on global sensitivity in a one-dimensional radiative convective climate model. <laughs> <laughs> Higher dimension models The zero-dimensional model may be expanded to consider the energy transported horizontally in the atmosphere. This kind of model may well be zonally averaged. This model has the advantage of allowing a rational dependence of local albedo and emissivity on temperature. The poles can be allowed to be icy and the equator warm, but the lack of true dynamics means that horizontal transports have to be specified. Topic EMICs Earth system models of intermediate complexity Depending on the nature of questions asked and the pertinent time scales there are on the one extreme conceptual more inductive models and on the other extreme general circulation models operating at the highest spatial and temporal resolution currently feasible Models of intermediate complexity bridge the gap One example is the CLIMA 3 model its atmosphere is a 2.5-dimensional statistical dynamical model with 7.5 degrees times 22.5 degrees resolution and time step of half a day. The ocean is MOM3 modular ocean model with a 3.75 degrees times 3.75 degrees grid and 24 vertical levels. Topic: <laughs> GCMs, global climate models or general circulation models. General circulation models GCMs discretize the equations for fluid motion and energy transfer and integrate these over time. Unlike simpler models, GCMs divide the atmosphere and or oceans into grids of discrete cells, which represent computational units. Unlike simpler models which make mixing assumptions, processes internal to a cell, such as convection, that occur on scales too small to be resolved directly are parameterized at the cell level, while other functions govern the interface between cells. Atmospheric GCMs AGCMs model the atmosphere and impose sea surface temperatures as boundary conditions. 
Coupled Atmosphere Ocean GCMs AOGCMs, EGHADCM3, EDGCM, GFDLCM2, X, Arpege Climate combine the two models. The first general circulation climate model that combined both oceanic and atmospheric processes was developed in the late 1960s at the NOAA Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory AOGCMs represent the pinnacle of complexity in climate models and internalize as many processes as possible. However, they are still under development and uncertainties remain. They may be coupled to models of other processes, such as the carbon cycle, so as to better model feedback effects. Such integrated multi-system models are sometimes referred to as either Earth system models or global climate models. Topic: <laughs> Research and development. There are three major types of institution where climate models are developed, implemented and used. National Meteorological Services most national weather services have a climatology section. Universities. Relevant departments include atmospheric sciences, meteorology, climatology, and geography. National and international research laboratories. Examples include the National Center for Atmospheric Research NCAR, in Boulder, Colorado, USA, the Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory GFDL, in Princeton, New Jersey, USA, Los Alamos National Laboratory, the Hadley Center for Climate Prediction and Research in Exeter, UK, the Max Planck Institute for Meteorology in Hamburg, Germany, or the Laboratoire des Sciences du Climate et de l'Environnement LSCE, France, to name but a few, the World Climate Research Programme WCRP, Hosted by the World Meteorological Organization WMO, coordinates research activities on climate modeling worldwide. A 2012 U.S. National Research Council report discussed how the large and diverse U.S. climate modeling enterprise could evolve to become more unified. Efficiencies could be gained by developing a common software infrastructure shared by all U.S. climate researchers, and holding an annual climate modeling forum, the report found. Topic. See also General Circulation Model Atmospheric Radiation Measurement Arm in the U.S. Climatepredictions.net GFDLCM2 X Numerical Weather Prediction Static Atmospheric Model Tropical Cyclone Prediction Model Verification and Validation of Computer Simulation Models CICEC ICE model Topic Climate models on the web DAPA D chart plot and download model data referenced by the fourth assessment report AR4 of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change no longer available NCAR UCAR Community Climate System Model CCSM do it yourself climate prediction primary research gcm developed by nasa giss goddard institute for space studies original nasa giss global climate model gcm with a user friendly interface for pcs and macs cccma model info and interface to retrieve model data noaa geophysical fluid dynamics laboratory cm2 global climate model info and model output data files University of Victoria Global Climate Model, free for download. Leading researcher was a contributing author to an IPCC report on climate change. Vimeo. Com, user 12,523,377, videos visualizations of climate models of ETH Zurich. Empirical Climate Model.